Hello, and thank you for watching The Righteous Kitchen, a cooking and baking blog found at www.therighteouskitchen.blogspot.com. I am going to share my recipe for crock pot rice pudding. Now, making it in the crock pot is going to save you from standing over the stove for your rice to thicken. Now I know uh, my grandma used to do that. It's very time consuming and very tiring. This way you're gonna end up with the same result, uh, but just a lot less work. So let's get started. So I'm actually using a slow cooker, but you can use a crock pot. And we're gonna start by putting butter in there. And I've got probably a tablespoon and what I'm going to do is just let that melt. I've got my crock pot on high heat and then just to put it back just a little bit from all the way high, like medium high. So I want to get this uh, butter melted and then it's going to cover the bottom of this uh, slow cooker. And that's going to help to protect everything from sticking. So we'll get that going over there and it's melting. Now I'm using a large bowl to whisk everything because I want to keep this metal whisk out of my slow cooker. I don't want to damage that. But if you're using a crock pot with a ceramic uh, glazed interior, you could mix it up in the crock pot. All right. So to this bowl, I have one quarter cup rice. I am using Uncle Ben's converted rice. You do not have to use a converted rice, uh, just a plain white rice would work. And I'm using half a cup of sugar. You could cut that down to one third of a cup and it would still taste fine. And then I have whole milk, you want to use whole milk, not a reduced fat milk on this. So I'm going to put in three and a half cups of whole milk. And then I'm going to um, add one half cup of heavy whipping cream. And we just want to whisk this to work that sugar in the mixture and get it all combined. We want that sugar to get dissolved. And that's it. I think my grandmother would be really happy um, in the fact that I'm not using a flour or a cornstarch as a thickener. I'm just using the milk and the rice. So that's going to give us that um, old fashioned rice pudding flavor. I know grandma, I told her once before, oh grandma, why don't you just put um, cornstarch in there and you wouldn't be at the stove stirring all that time and she turned her nose up at that. She didn't think that that was the right way to go about it. So just make sure you get all that rice in the uh, slow cooker. All right, so I have, let me move the crock pot so you can see. I have the crock pot on medium high. I don't know if you can see that in there or not. Okay, here we go. I have the crock pot on medium high and I have a tea towel. I've just uh, folded it in half, so I doubled it up. I've got my tea towel and then the lid. Now this is gonna go at medium high for two hours and then we'll come back 
stir it and add the raisins. So two hours, I will see. Okay, it has been two hours and this has been cooking on medium high heat. So I want to carefully remove the cloth. I'm gonna, the rice is starting to uh, get cooked and I'm gonna stir it. And this is gonna be the time that I want to uh, stir in two tablespoons of raisins. Now that's not a lot of raisins, but just enough. Okay, I've got the two tablespoons of raisins. I'm gonna give it a stir. I'm gonna move it, it's on medium high. I'm gonna put it on medium low. So it's gonna be a little bit more than medium. It's gonna be medium low. I'm gonna put the cover back on with the tea towel. And I'm gonna come back in 15 minutes and stir it. It's been 15 minutes um, since I last stirred this and I put the raisins in. So, I am gonna give it another stir. And I, at this point, you really wanna, um, you know, check on it. So 15 minutes, uh, I stirred it. I'm gonna do another 15 minutes. Just put the cover back on with the towel and the lid. 15 more minutes. Okay, we are on the second round of 15 minute increments. So let's see what we have. And it's getting thicker each time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another, I'm gonna put them down to 10 minutes now. I'm gonna come back in 10 minutes and look at this. Okay, it has been 10 minutes on this round. So we had two hours, we put the raisins in. Then we had two rounds of 15 minutes. And now we had a round of 10 and it's thickening up nicely. So I think what you wanna be careful of is you don't want it to start scorching and sticking at the bottom. I am gonna do another round of 10 minutes. All right, this is the second round of 10 minutes. And we'll look at that. So each time it's really um, getting thick. Now it has started to um, stick a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now is keep it uncovered and let it thicken up without uh, that lid on there. It's almost to the consistency that I want. I just need it a little bit more, probably about five minutes. And this is gonna all depend on your slow cooker, on your crock pot, how long it takes. Um, if you notice that at that 15 minute increment, it might just be two rounds and it's done. So I did two rounds of the 15 minutes and then I scaled back to 10 minutes. So um, 
I've done it before just three minutes or three times on the 15th. So you're, you'll see as it's thickening up uh, what to do. So I'm just gonna like hang out here for a few minutes and you could even, since you're uh, directly right with it, you can even put it back up to medium high and just, you know, kind of watch it. It's just almost right where I want it. And the kiss, I think this is almost done. The consistency, I would say, is like sausage gravy. You know when you have biscuits and sausage gravy? That is the consistency that you're looking for. So I'm going to give this a, probably about three more minutes. It's on high, and I'm just going to stir it occasionally. I'll check back in in just a few minutes. Okay, I kept that stirred for about five minutes with the lid off, and it's at the consistency that I want it now. So what you're going to want to do is to cool it quickly, You'll just pour this into a shallow dish. Get the rest of this out of here. Just like, um, you're going to treat it just like any other pudding. So we're going to put it in a shallow dish. And then we're going to want to cover it with plastic wrap. And you're going to need for that plastic wrap to set directly on top of the pudding so that it doesn't form a skin. So I'm going to take this to the refrigerator and let it chill completely. And then I'll be back to dish it up. The rice pudding has been chilling in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. And so the refrigerator, it's, it's thickened up nicely, but it's still nice and smooth. All right. So, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, spoon some in this bowl. Now, you could, um, sometimes while it's still warm, if you want uh, to give it a diner type of a fill, you can make up some uh, meringue just using the egg whites with a little bit of sugar and put it in a uh, oven proof dish with the hot uh, rice pudding and then scoop meringue, meringue over it and then bake it uh, till that meringue browns. You could do that. That's always nice. Um, or you could put whipped cream, serve it with whipped cream over the top. But what I do is just sprinkle uh, cinnamon, and that's it. So that's all I do, just cinnamon over the top, and then just enjoy. Let me give you a close-up of that. And I'll give it a little taste. Mm-hmm. It's very creamy. The rice is nice and soft. It's not overly sweet. Very good, you guys. Please take a moment to like and subscribe and share this video. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.